How you doing everybody? Welcome to video number four of building the body on the 37 Studebaker Modified. Alright, onward. Using the foot shear, I sheared up some strips that I'm using to make the little channel pieces for the top rail. And I'm doing that with the finger blade. When I cut the strips to length, I, I made them a little long. Uh, and uh, you can see I have some, I hope you can see it, some layout marks. I want three quarter, three quarter, three quarter. So these are just small pieces that I can practice with. Let me get on my glasses. So I've learned that you bend the first one to 90, first side. Because if you, if you'll notice, this one is not plumb. This is a 90, but this is not. So I've made the first band. Just got to get it where I want it. And I've learned that I come almost all the way, but not quite. That should do. And that gives me one side that has an angle. See how it fits. Yeah, I'd say that fits pretty good. Okay, I finished making the components for the top rail, so now I gotta figure out how to install them. This'll be fun. Okay, moving on. Here I cut a couple pieces of hardwood to help support these while I cut them on the bandsaw. I'm gonna cut some miters. So I'll show you that here in a second. I'm practicing on doing an outside corner. So here's my first attempt. I figure this could be welded and then theoretically it'd be a one-piece frame but it's kind of tricky and uh, I definitely uh, need to practice. I think I can do a better job than this. These are short. The, the challenge will be to get this inside miter just correct. I could make this three pieces with a joiner. That would allow me to work each corner individually. It's a good thing I'm practicing because I'm struggling a little bit with this. But I'll get it figured out. I had to remove a couple of rivets here. Okay, let's keep plugging away on this. I've been making progress. I have all four of the corners mitered in nicely. And then um, I left the center section open because I made these little covers. And they're just ever so slightly larger than this. Made one for here. So my thinking is I'll rivet these into place and then at some point this will get welded. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Here I've begun the process of adding the rivets. I'm going to add this right now, put that on. And then there's still quite a few rivets throughout this whole rear piece that I need to install. You can see here this is closer to what I'm after. Anyway, that's my next, next task is to get all this rivet work done. I finished installing the rivets on one side and I think that looks pretty good. I'm happy with the outcome. Alright, so I still have quite a few rivets to put in so I'm going to keep plugging away. Okay, I'm making progress. I have all the rivets on the exterior done. 
and I like the way it looks. The corners came out decent. I still have to put a bunch of them on the inside because you know. So that's next. And then uh, I may do some kind of a rolled pan down on the bottom. Not sure about that. That'll happen later. I want to get the inside rivets in and then, uh, then I'm going to start on the body proper. I'll call this done for now. Okay, let's get that inside done so I can move on to the rest of the car. There's quite a few rivets in this thing, but I managed to get the first panel on the inside done. It looks pretty good. So onward to the other three. It's taken me longer than I wanted, but uh, I'm going to call this the bed finished. I might add a couple other elements to it later after I finish the rest of the body. But I'm happy with the way it looks. I wanted that riveted overlapped panel look and uh, I was worried about this top frame and that that turned out okay I'm gonna put a screen in here eventually something I'll work on that later so uh, my goal now is to uh, start laying out uh, this body here see how I'm gonna approach it all right looking forward to that the first panel that I want to make will be the one that this rear panel here. It'll come down, clear down to right here. So uh, using my slip roll, I'm experimenting with getting this radius right here. And then I want to turn it down three quarters of an inch and I'm done. So I ran this piece. Uh, and I, I'm getting close, I just didn't take it far enough. So uh, I'm working on a panel now, I'll show you here in a minute. Um, eventually this will get cut off and bent, bent down. Um, there's this other piece I had here. This piece I made with the uh, English wheel. But I couldn't get... Uh, enough of a band. I could make a hammer form and shape that, but I, I want to see if I can get it, make the radius with the slip roll first. But you can see the idea where I'm going to turn the corner here. Okay, let me show you what I have out in the roll. So here you can see I have this piece of metal in here. It's about three inches long and I've been working on it got it going. I still need to turn it a little bit more I think. Yeah, a little bit more. Then I'll do a little test fit and I'll just keep whittling away at this panel till it fits right and I'll leave enough room to break the end over three-quarter. At least that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Alright, so now I have to trim it to length, and uh, that looks to be, if I take two and a half inches, I'll use the foot shear, knock off two and a half inches and let that sit down on here. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, I have the piece in the foot shear here, and I've uh, got it right on the line, right where I want it. And then just cut it right off. Okay, let's see how it fits. It lines up with the chassis here and over here. And then uh, follows that radius pretty good. 
Right here I'll break it over three quarters, trim off the excess. Then I'll make corners here, maybe three pieces and then some kind of cap. I'll hammer form this I'm guessing. Alright, well I don't know what the hell I'm doing but I'm just going to keep seeing if I can figure it out as I go. Alright. Well, this is an important panel, being the first panel, it's the foundation of every other panel on the body, as I see it. So, I was able to uh, flatten out the curve and then uh, trim it up and break it over here, a heavy three quarters of an inch. And then when I try to fit it on here, it needed a little tweaking, which I was able to do by hand. So. Uh, Alright, that makes me feel good. This one won't be multiple pieces, like uh, this side panel over here will be one, two, three panels where I just thought I'd make one here just to make it simpler to get started. Okay, I'm happy with that. When I built this wood buck a year ago, well a year and a half ago, I finished building it, but I never finished sanding it. I did a little bit here and there, but uh, it's not really true to the shape I want. Um, you can see one problem right here, it's not straight, and uh, it's uneven in a few spots, so I really need to sand it, uh, take a belt sander to it, and prep it uh, front to rear, top to bottom. Here's the second panel. And it was when I was fitting this that I realized the wood buck needs to be as straight and true as possible. Um, and even with all the work I put into it, I came up a little bit short. So this is all new to me, learning the techniques of how to shape and bend, what tools to use. How, so it's all trial and error. Uh, but I'll get better as I go. There'll be, in essence, six of these. Uh, no, four of these. One, two, three, four. Then there'll be two centers and two lowers and then there'll be a corner and a corner and a corner and then a cap right here but I gotta do this wood buck because uh, these pre pieces just won't lay down properly if I don't have it sanded pretty darn close to what I want so anyway on to sanding using the belt sander and this sanding block I was able to get this to eyeball up a lot better. I'm interested in this inside line and this outside line with the radius. And this side was way out but I, I'm able to get that looking pretty good. I'm trying to get both sides to look as close to the same as I can. There's a slight bend in that. All right. I'm happy so far. It's going to be a lot easier to fit the panels with this dress down. So practice makes perfect. Here's my first one. And you can see the radius wasn't that great. Second one was better, but it just not quite right. The technique I hadn't developed yet. And then this is my third one, which took me literally five to seven minutes to make. This one took me, I don't know, about an hour. But uh, the radius is much better and I could duplicate it. So I'm going to make three more just like it. Same exact technique from layout to final fitting. They'll all be done the same way. You can see how my third attempt just fits so much better. And it was so much easier to make than the first one. All right, let's make some new ones. I've developed a method of making one of these panels where it doesn't get all scratched up from the roll. Uh, you still use the slip roll, but I just bend it over the roll by hand. And uh, it came out pretty good. I've got the measurements figured out, and I can make one in about five minutes. So now that I have all four of them roughed out, I might just... Uh, go to one panel here, one in the middle, one at the bottom. I don't know, I'll think about it. 
but uh, what a learning experience for sure. I spent the last few hours messing with this and, and I'm enjoying it. It's fun to work out different techniques to get where you need to be. Okay. Things are shaping up pretty good. I went with the two panels. Then I made these here. See, some are riveted and then some are screws because they're into the wood. Once the buck goes away, then those will be rivets. Then I shape these corners. These right here I'll have to uh, form by hand, I think, on a sandbag or something. I have the panels over here too. These don't have the rivets yet. There'll be more rivets for decoration. Now these bottom panels will overlap. So I'm going to focus on those next. Using poster board, I'm making the patterns for these two lower valances. Shouldn't be too hard. This corner will be a challenge because I'll have to form that with, uh, with mallets on a sandbag, I guess. Anyway, let's knock out these two easier ones. I'll worry about that corner when I get there. I used the foot shear to chop these up. Here was my pattern. So I laid that on there and traced it and then lined it up on the shear. Flip that one over. And I have a right and a left. Okay, so I have them marked uh, right rear and left rear. And then this line, as best I can tell, is the center of the arc. So I will bend in this direction. This will, I'm going to use the slip roll, I'm going to bend it over the roll, so this will be on the, touching the roll. Same thing here. Gives me a starting point anyway. Then I just dry fit it a, a number of times until I'm happy with it. I traced the shape of the buck onto here, and then I just have to get it to match. So you see I'm getting there. A little bit more work. And then uh, on the other side here I have the front part. And I'm getting close. But anyway, it won't be long before I have that taken care of. It's been an evening's work installing these two panels. But they fit pretty good, and uh, tomorrow night I'll work on the other two. It took a little longer than I thought, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. I bought a sandbag, some mallets, and a set of anvils so I could uh, try to shape those corners in the rear of the uh, cab. I also have some other body hammers here. And I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm gonna try to shape something. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so the first thing I did is I drew some lines here which represent the finished part. Then I took some white copy paper and I taped it on there and cut it and shaped it until it has the shape that I want. So that is the finished part that I want in metal. Of course it'll have rivets around it. And back here up on the top 
I'll fold that down. I'll come up with a way to clean up that corner. So I'll use the sandbag and uh, the mallets and whatever else. I'll try to figure out how to sh shape this part. This will be the first time I've ever attempted this. So it'll be fun to see what happens. Okay. So you can see I'm getting there. I just got to shrink it a little bit more or stretch it a little more right in here. And then uh, ultimately I can trim the part once I get it really close to this. I can trim it to this size. Clean up the edges. I've been beating on this thing um, oh, close to an hour. I started by cutting a simple shape. Pointed it, you know, and basically this flat. And then I'm just working it until, uh, until it fits. Be nice to have a planishing hammer. Uh, I use this small hammer and the ball peen and the other ones over the anvil to smooth it out. Planishing hammer would be nice, speed that up, but it's nice to work by hand. So I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep working it until until I get what I want. Okay. I finished installing the lower panels on both sides. At least far as I'm going to take it for now. Um, I really want to focus on this top section and the dash and uh, I think I might put a, a workable hood here. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. A lot of it I'm figuring it out as I get there. So, okay. At least I, I've got the sides on in the rear part. These two rear corners are a little bit of a challenge because the wood buck has a, it tapers. But once I attach these panels together, it kind of takes on a shape of its own. So I might just make a corner that fits it the way it is right there. I'll finesse that into shape. And of course I have the two that go up here. These four parts will take me a while to make. You saw me start on the one, but I'm gonna work on a little bit each evening. I really want to focus on the front for now. I want to focus on the hood. That's going to be the next piece that I make. Looking at these other pictures, I like the way it just tapers down. I think I can create that shape. And it's not overly thick either, or tall, so to speak. So I've been laying it out here with some string trying to get a feel for how it might look and eyeball it up to a level that I like. I still need to sand this front half. It's not exactly true yet but you can get the idea of where I'm heading with this hood. So we'll see. I'll, I'll start working on it tomorrow so I'll think about it. If you look at the lines of the model, you see how it has a simple hood that tapers to a point at the front. And then, here's the cowl, and it drops down right here, and then it drops down again at the bed. And that's in essence what I have. It drops down here, 
and then it drops down at the bed. It's just getting the lines where I want them is the challenge. This is quite a bit of a drop from here to here, more than I really wanted it to be. I wanted it to look more like this. But, that's why I made the model, just to help me get the proportions right, or something to work towards. So I made a mark under the string here, and I'm going to make a paper pattern. I got some paper over there. I'm going to bring something up here. Before I get too far on this hood, I need to take the belt sander and prep the front half of this wood buck. I'm going to do that now. looking a lot better. There was a high spot here and one right here. So that definitely better. If you've been watching my videos then your keen eye would have seen this floating around the shop. Our, our local club, the Arizona Cycle Car Club, we went up to Chino Valley and to Lauren Roberts shop. He's a retired guy up there bunch of guys live in that area that are into hot rods and he had a bunch of metalworking equipment and this is a piece of 50 thousandths that I took up there. He invited us up and he showed us some techniques and I did this on the, uh, well actually we did, on the um, English wheel with the rubber band and that's the same, same setup we got going here, English wheel, the rubber band on the wheel. Anyway, as we were fitting this, this is where we found these high spots. This wouldn't lay down as nice as we would like it. And I don't know that I'm going to use this piece. Uh, it's thicker than I want it to be, but it's pretty darn close. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. But this will be the next piece I make will be up here and this nose down to the line here. Okay, here's my paper pattern for the first piece of the hood. I'll use the English wheel over there with the uh, rubber band to shape this. Shouldn't be too hard. I think I'll do this in one piece. Then uh, this piece here, which comes down to this line, that will have to be formed, you know, with the mallets, just like these rear corners. Um, most of these other panels should be fairly easy to form, but this nose, this is where all the work is. So, I'm sneaking up on this idea of shaping these parts. Here I traced the pattern onto this piece of aluminum, and then these are reference lines when I'm using the English wheel. The radius starts here. This is the finished part line. This is excess to be trimmed later and it's a little bit long to be fine-tuned later so let's see how this goes okay I made a little practice panel these are reference lines to help me keep uh, on track while I'm trying to get it to roll over so let's run it through a few times see what we get You can see that it didn't take much. 
couple of passes. I might have it a little too tight. Or maybe I could use a different uh, roller here. This one has quite a bit of radius to it. Well, as you could see, I only made <laughs> three or four or five passes and I already have the radius looking pretty good here. Let's see how it's laying down pretty nice. This is, like I say, this is the practice piece. Okay. Alright, I've been messing with this top for a few minutes and I have it close, but it, I need to do a little more work. I need to uh, trim it, trim it to length and to width, and then I can do the final finesse work to get it to fit just right. Definitely a learning curve. I might make another one. It, you know, the roller I'm using, and I have it too tight, and it just bends it too quick. It's hard to control, so. Maybe if I go at it a little bit slower, uh, with not quite so much tension, I can sneak up on this radius. But not bad for a first attempt, I guess. Okay, well I'm at the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to call this the end of video number four. And I'm looking forward to continuing putting the body panels on. I'm actually enjoying this. It is definitely a challenge but I'm having a good time so alright everybody thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time